Here we go. The latest one from Tom Ford, Bitter Peach. Now, unless you've been living under rock, Tom Ford came out with effing fabulous, then Lost Cherry, Rose Prick. You're starting to see a theme here. This one right here, Bitter Peach. This one sold out pretty much as soon as it hit the market, which surprised me because I wasn't thinking many people were going to dig on this fragrance. Now, I've seen some fragrance reviewers. Some like it. Some don't like it. Here's what I think about it. If you've ever smelled Terry Mugler's Angel for Women, it puts you in the mind of this fragrance. But hold on, guys. Don't run. Don't run because you'll be missing what I think this fragrance does exceptionally well. Yes, it is a the top note that peach comes across. It's a photorealistic peach. But don't sleep on this, guys. This fragrance is an incredible fragrance for blending. Now, some people are like, why would I want to spend $350 or $60 on a fragrance to blend? Well, you don't, guys. The actual magic of this fragrance, in my opinion, outside of what it can do with blending, is in the mid and in the dry down. Do not judge it by the top notes. And see, that's why I find a lot of people kind of go wrong when they look at a fragrance. You'll judge it by the packaging. You won't like the color. You know, some people don't like these matte color bottles. F and Fabulous was all black. But then you came in with the loud red with uh, Lost Cherry. And then the matte pink with the rose prick. So the orange may throw you off. But guys, this time of year, I've been wearing the heck out of Bitter Peach. And I am more and more fascinated with it each and every time I wear it. And here's another thing. As far as compliments and conversation starters, this has been winning the fall. That's what really blew me away is I had to put it actually on skin. On skin is a completely different thing than just spraying it on paper. When I got back to Atlanta, I actually was out walking around where, and then down here, people really love Baccarat Rouge 540. It's like the unofficial fragrance of Atlanta. It's crazy down here. It has a cult-like following. Um, but when I was walking around here with my little cashmere sweater on, you know, this thing was just radiating off me. And people were like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Who smells like that? That's this. Bitter peach. Let's get into the C3PO system, shall we? Compliment factor amazing which surprises me this is amazing and it started a lot of conversations because when i told people i'm wearing bitter peach <laughs> yeah performance a solid six to eight hours projection two to three feet plus siage two to three feet plus style personality in my opinion this is definitely gonna be much more of that player flirt thing i mean come on guys it's a sweeter fragrance it leans that way and the occasion i can actually see this special occasion date night or even just late or just in the evening or afternoon or the evening in the fall and winter. It catches the wind and just does amazing things as it pretend, as it starts to cook on your skin. And I won't lie, the comparisons when people first start talking about it, it smells like Terry Mugler's original angel for women. I get it, but that's really not doing it justice. Uh now, of course, I like Tom Ford's for fashion. I'm not a fan of every fragrance release. Matter of fact, you haven't seen me review many of the ones I just talked about. I didn't, I didn't review Lost Cherry or Rose Prick. I did a first impression. I like it. I don't love it. After Fabulous, I talked about it after the buzz had died down. This is the first one I actually reviewed because I think out of all of them, it has so many uses. But like I always say, don't just leave it up to me. Hit us up in the comments section. Have you actually put bitter peach on skin? Have you tried it? Have you rocked it? Have you worn it? Did you like it? If so, cool. If not cool. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. Till then, your godfather is out.